Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, I'm Joe Schmidt, joined as always by Paige Driscoll, and this is Basis Loaded, your home for the Indy PSR report and some questionable master's picks in eight minutes or less. I mean, my master's pick was Tony Finau, top 10, not too shabby, but I was hoping to bring home a winner. What we do bring home every week is the NDPSR report, starting with butter. 177.24, that is a minus four and a half to the CME one week average of 181.94. So a little bit of disappointing basis, but what is interesting is that week to week, the CME went up 10 cents and the NDPSR was able to go up 10 cents. So the gains at the CME are reflected one to one here on the NDPSR. And I like this volume number, north of 5 million pounds. So big volume out of the manufacturer. So we can we continue to run negative basis to the levels that we're seeing on the CME. However, the manufacturer is able to move a lot of product and I believe that that is fairly impressive. Moving on to blocks, 178.24. That represents a plus seven to the CME one week average of 171.30. Now that 171.30, we were down five and then the following week we, we bounced None of that downtick got in. I was expecting five over. So this seven over is a little bit of a surprise to me. What is also a surprise and I think impressive other than seven over basis is this volume north of 13 million pounds, big block volume. And it's good to see that the manufacturer is clearing a lot of product. Moving on to the barrels, 151, 22 that represents a plus four and a half to the CME two week average of 146.84. So, this barrel basis has been really consistent, it's been the one consistent week to week on the NDPSR here lately, maintaining that 4.5 over basis. Now, that's a basis in line with historical norms, so not only consistent week to week, but also in line with where we are historically. It's interesting that the barrel volume here at 13,371, just barely over the block volume of 13,357. So after a few years, ever since we had this big barrel expansion in 2016, the barrel has been running anywhere from one to two million pounds over the block. With the block expansion that we had this winter, we're now seeing block production equaling barrel production. So we're getting close to a 50-50 spread on that weighted cheese average, which you'll have to make those adjustments when predicting class going forward. Two big success stories to wrap up this week's NDPSR. The first is way 60-74. That represents a 270 increase from the March 27th NDPSR price of 58.06 and we were back to contracted levels here in volume just short of 4.5 million pounds for 387. So you remember last week we saw meager volume apparently way failed to ship out of the plant we wanted to see we wanted another week to confirm those meager levels and we bounced right back so I'm not sure why product didn't get picked up last week perhaps the manure hauler tipped over in front of the way hauler and they were just unable to invoice but here we are north of 60 cents which is a massive psychological price and able to clear contracted values really impressive for way and secondly also impressive in the powders non-fat 116.45 a full i'm going to say a full penny over the CME weekly average of 115.60. So there you go, non-fat. Positive basis for the first time in recent memory, first time in a long time. Only able to move 17.2 million pounds, but at one over, that is impressive. Of course, with that little spike in enthusiasm uh, from the end user, they then took the CME up to the low 120s we'll see i have a feeling that we're going to have a hard time maintaining positive values as the market adjusts to those higher levels on the cme so this is week two of five 
for the April pricing, currently getting $17.45 for class three, $15.35 for class four. So again, that $2 differential, if you look out on the forward curve, we're seeing some substantial premiums to those levels. Current cash equivalents, $18-ish in class three terms. So there's some, still the slope of hope in that futures curve we'll see if values at the CME respond. Until then, I am Joe on behalf of Paige. Thanks so much. Talk soon. Bye.